postpartum endometritis. I'm Dr. Shannon M. Clark. I'm a double board certified OBGYN and maternal fetal medicine specialist. So let's chat about this. Now, postpartum endometritis is a postpartum infection of the decidua or the endometrium, which is what lines the uterine cavity. It can also affect all layers of the uterus and actually become endomyometritis. It's endomyometritis when the muscle is also affected. Now, most of these infections are mild and will resolve with antibiotics, but there are some infections that can go on to cause um, peritonitis, which is a, an infection of the lining of the abdomen, intra-abdominal abscess or abscess in the abdomen, and sepsis, and this person had sepsis. Now, this infection typically occurs from the vaginal flora or the bacteria that inhabit the vagina and the lower genital tract as well. Now, risk factors include cesarean section, and all of these. Pause to read. Signs and symptoms to look for when you go home would include fever, uterine tend tenderness, and uterine tenderness would usually be at the top of your uterus, which after delivery is typically around the belly button. So if you have tenderness when you feel the top of your uterus right there, that's a sign. Uh, tachycardia or a high pulse rate, um, and midline lower abdominal pain. You can also have an increase in bleeding once you go home, and then also uh, malodorous or purulent lochia, which is the bleeding that occurs after delivery, headache, chills, malaise, tiredness, and or anorexia or not feeling like you're hungry. Now, she tells in her video that she ended up having sepsis, which um, here are some of the criteria that would be concerning for sepsis. You could pause to read this, but I'm assuming that's probably what happened to her. Pause to read. Now, after you go home from delivery, uh, whether it's vaginal or cesarean, here are a few things or warning signs that you should be uh, aware of. Number one, fever of 100.4 or higher. An increase in vaginal bleeding or foul smelling discharge that may be mixed in with the blood or even look like pus coming out of your vagina. Severe abdominal pain that will not go away and that can be anywhere in your abdomen. Dizziness or fainting being overwhelmingly tired. Yes, you're gonna be tired, but if you're just so tired that you can't function, that's not normal. So all of these are signs that an infection could be occurring. So please be seen somewhere in a hospital that has obstetrical services so they can properly take care of you. Don't just go to an urgent care.